This is one of those stories that should make everyone in San Diego smile because this program is picking up people and trash. You may wonder how hundreds of homeless people were suddenly put to work at $13 an hour picking up trash. Your 15-year-old son watches a TED Talk and says, hey, mom. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we do talk about homelessness a lot. Carolyn Barber says two years ago, her son Kevin learned about a work program in New Mexico. So we ended up taking a plane to Albuquerque. <laughs> Carolyn and Kevin put their own program into motion and called it Wheels of Change. My name is Colleen and I'm working with the Wheels of Change. The program just doubled in size and is on track to offer 5,000 four-hour jobs to the unemployed. This gives them a, a reason to get up in the morning and it gives them a chance to work. And it gives some people a reason to live. Carolyn says this woman named Susan is one of the program's greatest success stories. She was standing on the Coronado Bridge. She was going to commit suicide. And now she's got a whole new life. And now she has a whole new life and she's just a fantastic woman. As for Carolyn, Are you gonna look for another one? when her son Kevin headed off to college, she filled her empty nest with community service. You could be done with, with all of this, but yet you decided to re-up. How come? Right. You know, I had cancer uh, 20 years ago, and I was working in investment banking at that time. Dr. Carolyn Barber reinvented her life and became an ER physician, where she combined her passion for people and medicine by writing a book. The book's called uh, Runaway Medicine, uh, What You Don't Know May Kill You. Carolyn believes universal health care could be possible with a reshaped system. You know, people are paying their deductibles, they're paying premiums, they're paying co-pays. If health care were more efficient, yes. then it would provide for more people. Exactly. Until then, Wheels of Change is focusing on picking up trash and people. Thank you, guys. 180 tons of litter have been collected so far. I mean, we're just so proud of them. In the Zevely Zone. It doesn't take that much to help people. Jeff Zevely, Newsy.